Hi guys, today I'm going to try my hand at one of the splash bowls that I've seen. And I got a piece of black walnut in between centers here. It's just a square, so it's going to be a little bit extra turning trying to round it off. But my bandsaw, the blade on it snapped, and I can't true it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go at it like spindle turning. But um, So I have it in between centers. It's inside my screw chuck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it all roughed into shape. And then I'm going to put a little recess in here for it to fit onto and so that I can expand my jaws into it this way. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I got my 5 eighths here, ready to go. do a lot of turning to straighten out the back here. What I'm going to do is rather than turning this way, trying to knock the corners off head on like that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start rolling this corner back a little bit until I form a curve there. So here we go. Okay, I have it pretty much trued up now inside a rough shape, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down a little bit more and get it more to the shape I want it. I'm also gonna bring the speed up a little bit now that it's not so unstable. Okay, I have the outside pretty much put into shape. I'm just gonna round this corner over on the bottom and then I'll go ahead and put the recess in. Okay, I just started sanding. I got the bottom all sanded up. But in a few spots right there, and there's another right there, I have a bit of my wood grain sticking up on end. So I have my DA, and I'm just gonna go ahead with those, and then I'm gonna turn the speed way down, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sand the whole thing with this, because the two orbital patterns here will help straighten that out better than just hand sanding. scooped up the inside. I think I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to clean it up with a uh, French scraper though. But this is going to be the drips part of it that I'm going to carve out with a Dremel. But for now, I'm trying to round over this edge perfectly and I'm making the lip of it a little more fatter. So I'm just going to bring it in deeper here and then scoop it out. But I'm just going to round over this corner a little better. Okay guys, so I skipped ahead a little bit because my camera died, but I got it back working and here's where I'm at. I just took it off the lathe, off the, my, my little recess back there, and I sanded through all the grits on it, and now, I don't know if you could see it or not, but I marked out all of the places where I'm going to carve into with my Dremel. So those are all going to be the little drips and waves coming off the edge. So let's go ahead and get started. to say that was a lot of work with the Dremel to carve in all of these. At some point I went over to my bandsaw but my blade wasn't thin enough to get in all of them but in the bigger ones like this that was perfectly fine for my bandsaw to go into. But now what I have is I have a little drum sander attachment on here and I've just been easing over these corners to make them round. And I can't fit this obviously into these little tight guys. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to get in there as best I can with that. And then I'm just going to take a little hand file and get in the tighter, uh, the tighter spots of it. So I'm just going to do those for all the corners and I'll show you it when I'm all done.
Okay, I just eased over all those edges with files and mostly with this little guy. That worked out really good for me. But anyways, now I have uh, 240 grit and I'm just going to smooth over because there are all those lines and it just looks very, very bad. It has a lot of flat spots in there. So I'm just going to ease over all that with some sandpaper. And then I'll just run through all the grits again and then we'll be ready for finish.